Number 10. Eustis trying to protect that lead in the fifth. A fly ball to center. The wind is swirling, so a tough play, but Oveka makes it look easy. Christian Oveka makes the diving catch to rob the Jags of a hit. Number nine. But Hunt blows the game wide open in the sixth. Michael Chiaravallo turns on one. He goes yard. The ball almost lands on Riverside Ave. It's a three-run homer from the junior outfielder. Hun is now in front with a commanding 11-2 lead. Number eight. The third quarter is wild. Mark Marino kickstarts it with a snipe. Woo, that is a long-range shot from the junior Princeton commit. Number seven. It was a great day at the office for the Royals. Tegan Kose closes out her day with a highlight reel goal. Woo, that's worth another look. It's a great setup and a sweet outside finish. Number six. The Colts weren't done with the razzle dazzle. Late in the first half, Peter Cantorino, the defenders all over him, but the long stick goes over the shoulder. Are you kidding me? That's an incredible goal. Take another look. A long stick over the shoulder goal, that is a true rarity. Cantorino gets a goal of the year nominee on opening day. CBA trails 6-5. Number five. Under a minute left now when Bonner intercepts the Panthers pass and he has room to run. Mackie Bonner streaking up the field, ahead to Brown. Check out the move to basically create an open net. Matt Brown with his second goal of the half. Lower Cape May is rolling up six to nothing at the break. Number four. Nick Muller assisted on six goals in regulation. This time he's on the other end of it. The riser for the win in double OT. That is a tremendous shot and it gives Bergen Catholic a huge road win to open the 2022 season. Number three. Bases loaded, one out for Christian Elliott. A base hit will win it. And that's your ball game. Elliott singles into left. Mainland storms back to win a walk off on opening night. Nine to eight, the final. The Stangs trailed by five runs twice in this game, but found a way to win. It's awesome. It's, it's surreal. It's awesome. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Number two, Colin Beatty. Beatty for the win. It's good. Colin Beatty wins it for Summit in triple overtime. 11-10 is your final. Summit takes a heart-stopping opening day victory. And the number one play of the week. And in the seventh, Shield left no doubt. Pitch number 95 of the game is strikeout 16. And Ben Shield has an opening day no-hitter. The Eagles ace was so locked in, he didn't even realize that he had the no-no. I, I had no idea. I just was happy I finished the game, to be honest. Was happy I could get that final strikeout.